Hello people, you're welcome to my channel Jojo Connect. Today I'll be showing you how to properly upload a video on YouTube. So if you're ready, let's get going. <music> So, the first thing you do is to go to your YouTube channel. Um, I'm on my YouTube channel at the moment, Jojo Connect. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel today. Just click the subscription button and also click on the bell icon so that you can be notified when I drop a new video. On this channel, I show you how to get things done easy and simple so without much ado let's get into today's tutorial all right so at this juncture you go to your youtube channel like i am on my youtube channel at the moment yeah, so you just click on the create a video or post icon here and then you click on upload video so once it takes you to this page while you have to do is to upload your video is to attach your video now to your channel now you can either drag and drop the video file here or you can just select the files from whichever folder you have saved it in so i'm going to use the select file folder so my video has been saved on my desktop so i'll just go to the desktop and then uh, i try to look for the video Okay, this is the video I'm uploading for today. I'd already prepared this video for today. Uh, how to get your first 100 subscriber fast. That's the video I'm uploading. So, so as you can see, the video has now started uploading. Now, this is what happened. This is the most important part of this, uh, uh, of this tutorial. As you can see, the video title is the same name I saved it with in my uh, on my desktop so if you want to change the name just click on this place and then you just uh, remove the name you saved it with and then you change your name but I'm just gonna leave it uh, at this name because I like it uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this so um, put a dash here so now this is also the next part that I want you to see. Now, I already have a custom description saved on my uh, on my YouTube setting. So, uh, so this is the description is quite important because it helps people to know what your the video you're uploading is about, even what your channel is about as it is. So, um, for me, I always uh, like to put a share link video it's important because the more people watch your video and they're able to share it the more views you get so i'm going to click on the copy video link here and then i'm going to paste it on this my uh share this video area so as you can see i already pasted it here so whoever comes to the description uh, part of my video would definitely see the share this video link which is easy for them to share so i'm just going to uh, also leave a few um, description uh, very uh, a few description on on the video i'm, I'm uploading so uh, i'm just gonna say Okay, so this is the description I'm just going to leave here. I'm just going to leave this description. Very short, but at least just to explain what the video is about. So, um, I'm going to just space it up here. Now, as you can see, it is important for you to always, you know, put your YouTube subscription link here. So that, as you can see, this link, people, once a new subscriber comes to my channel and just clicks on this link, it will take uh the person straight to 
subscribe page so this is an easy way for you to get people to subscribe to your channel without uh, too much stress now the next thing for you to do is now as you can see the video is loading up and in the in the course of loading up it's going to generate an automatic thumbnail uh, three different automatic thumbnails for you to use now if you want your video to get you know very noticed or get really uh, recognized amongst other forms of uh, uh, YouTube videos I would advise that you use the automated thumbnails create a specific thumbnail that looks attractive for your video so I already created one and I'm going to upload it here I guess saved it in my okay so as you can see this is the thumbnail that I created and um, it's already uploaded so the next thing you do is to go straight to your playlist now this playlist is important because sometimes people want to people enjoy watching one of the videos you've made and so they would be interested in seeing other similar videos that you've created so if you don't have a playlist it will be difficult for them to find it are you with me so it is important for you to create a playlist i already have a playlist created for my videos learn how to get things done so i'm just going to click it here now if you do not have a playlist created just go to this place and say new playlist create a new playlist and then you just click on done now yeah, here you just have to click whether the video you are creating or the video you are uploading is um, ideal enough for kids or not. So in this case, I'm just going to click no, it's not made for kids, even though the video does not have any vulgar language, but still uh, I'm not making the video for for children. So now many a times people fail to go to this area because it's it's a drop down now they just go straight and click on next but this is where you you know do most of the job to make your video uh, more relevant as regards uh, uh, people finding your video so just click on more options now when you click on more options you then go straight put in different tags as you can see i already customized my tags from my youtube settings you can also do that i will leave a video later on how to customize your 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 youtube account properly now as you can see i have all this tom uh, all these tags already now the tags you know also plays a role in helping people to find your 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 video on YouTube now so what I'm gonna do now is to add to the tags I already created uh, so the first thing I want to put down there is uh, 100 subscribers make sure that the tags you use are very related to the video you are uploading uh, Okay, so I'm just going to uh, leave the tags like this. I think I've uh, been able to include enough tags. So here you have to select the language of your video. Now you can decide to leave it if you want, but I'm just going to uh, change it and put it in English so that uh, it's quite clear for my viewers to know it's an English video. So English, United States, United Kingdom, United Kingdom. So the next part of it is your recording date and location just leave this one as is you don't have to touch this area now then the next part is this license and distribution you have uh, standard standard youtube license and creative common uh, commons attribution now just leave it at the default standard youtube license because the standard youtube license means that you have a copyright over your video but if you click on creative commons it means you are allowing uh, other people to make use of your video there's no copyright on it so I'm just gonna take it back to standard YouTube uh, license now just leave this 
uh, allow unveiling and publishing and then the next part is your category now my videos i always make videos on how to get things done so i'm just going to leave it at how to and style now if it's you can choose your own category just look for your category and choose the one you prefer but how I, I always use how to and style okay so the next part is your comments and ratings you have to leave this one as well your comments and ratings now as it is uh, it's all potential in appropriate comments for review now when people send you in appropriate comments it will hold it for you to review before it can actually come live so you can just leave it like that so for me i always leave that okay um, show how many viewers like and dislike this video you can you just leave it the way it is but if you don't want your videos to show how many people who like your video it's like your video just on check this uh, this box so we'll now wait for the for the video to load before i move to the next stage so your upload will definitely be uh, take time if your internet connection is not too good but then if your internet connection is fast the upload will be faster but i'm going to speed up this area of the tutorial okay so once it has finished processing the video you just click on next now this here what you would do or what i like to do here is to uh, add an end screen in other words you want to add a video at the uh, a video at the end of your uploaded video so that you know once people finish watching your video you know this your other videos can just pop up and they will might be interested in seeing the video as well and this will definitely help you to grow your uh, your views on your channel so this is what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show you how I go about this um, I'm going to just add now there are different formats you can make use of but I like to make use of uh, either this or this uh, let's let me let me use this one okay so I'm just gonna click on this one now so it means that my picture or my channel picture would show up here and the suggested video would also appear right here so what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, click on uh, this so best for viewers most recent uploads choose specific video what I do is I always use the most recent upload so that once this video ends uh, at the end of this video rather the viewer or the person watching my channel can see the last video I recently uploaded so I just click on this and then I just go straight to uh, I just go straight to save I go straight to save here so that's that so uh, the next thing we do is to click on next now make sure that your a default it might be uh, make sure that you click on public here you click this public make sure it sometimes it will just be like this so you click on public and uh, uh, all you need to do is to just click on publish so here we go your video is now fully published and then you can now start sharing the link to your various uh, social media handles so I'm just going to share it to my uh, to my Facebook here let me just share it to my Facebook but this is how you upload uh, properly a video to uh, your YouTube channel thank you for watching